Bruce here from StampinBJ.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator who loves to share really fun things with you. And today I've got a fun thing to share with you. And that is a little bit of a special fold showcasing our designer series papers. I've got a couple samples and you're going to love them. So I love this designer series paper. It's called Press Petals. And I know today we're talking about designer series paper and you know Stampin' Up! really has like some of the best on the market that I've ever seen. I love the coordinating background. So this is one side and this is the other side of the designer series paper. Now this is a special fold and I can't wait to share how to create this because as you open it up, it's just, it's easy and fun. And really, honestly, it's just a half sheet of our cardstock. And actually when you're making these, you almost get enough to make two because as you put these together, here is what you have. You have a full sheet of eight and a half by 11 designer series paper. So let me, let's get started. Let me show you how to make it. For this one, I'm actually gonna use Petal Pink. So I have gone ahead and I've scored my designers, or my cardstock at five and a half inches and at four and a fourth inches. So I basically created four equal squares. Now, what I need to do is I need to cut this on on a diagonal on my paper trimmer. And there we go, Perf perfect, two perfect card bases. For this card, I've chosen the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. I love the coordination of this paper, the front and the back, and so we're gonna use that today. What I have is a piece of Mossy Meadow um, cardstock that is three and three fourths by five inches. And that I also need to cut on the diagonal. Now, if you need a little lesson on cutting on the diagonal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this point and this point in my cutting track. And I'm just going to cut away. And now I've got two pieces. And then I have um, two pieces of the, of the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper. Now, what I found is that you want these... you to be a little bit smaller. So normally I would cut these a quarter inch smaller than um, my cardstock that I'm layering it on. But in this case, I've gone a little bit more than that. So these two pieces are three and three eighths by four and five eighths. And you're also gonna cut these on the diagonal. But I wanna caution you that you wanna think about how you want your paper laid out. For example, on this card, I want my kind of my printed paper my flowery paper to be on top so I have to think about how I want to cut that so in this case let's think about putting that flowery paper on top so I want my triangle to look like this with a long backbone here so I'm going to put my paper in the trimmer and cut on that diagonal so now when I put that on my card base this is what it's going to look like and the reverse would be down here if I wanted to keep it the same, except that when you see you flip this over, it doesn't work. That's why you're gonna use this on your second card. Now, I'm gonna use this on the bottom of my card as my coordinating piece. So again, I wanna think about how I wanna lay this in here. So I want my long backbone to be down here in the bottom. So I'll line that up and cut away. And now, this is what I have. It's going to be super cute. And these two pieces I will use on the next card. I brought in my silicone mat because I'm going to use snail adhesive. And one of the things is you want to make sure that you get the um, your adhesive way out in the points. So I, if you put it on a silicone pad, the adhesive will only stick to your paper and not to basically here where I'm going to get all my other pieces of cardstock stuck to it. Again, I want my adhesive way out here on the points. And you can see how this lines up so nice. Super cute. All right, so there we go. There's our basically our card base. Now let's work on the greeting. I love these stitched nested labels. Just, I just think they're so cute. So I've used the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set and stamped my image and colored it in with the Stampin' Blend, so Petal Pink and Mossy Meadow. 
added the greeting and I've actually put some adhesive on the back. Here's one of the reasons why I love these new labels because look at how nicely they layer together. Create just a kind of just a lovely little accent. I love, I really like that. All right, so now we want to put this on here, but we only want adhesive on part of it. So one of the tricks that I've taught about my, to myself was to think about where I'm going to put my adhesive. And I kind of have lined up this point along the fold line here, and the same with this. So I know that I'm going to put adhesive over he, behind here. So now I can line that back up again. And my adhesive should be just perfect. And actually it is. Voila! Let's add a little something to the inside of this card. So this is four by five and a fourth. I'm just gonna simply add that here. And then I've got just a one inch by four inch strip of the designer series paper coordinating. And I'm gonna add that here. And there we go. So cute. And such a lovely way to showcase your favorite designer series paper. Remember, you want to just use this paper. And I know some of us hoard it. I'm guilty as well. I'm trying to be better. And I hope you will too. You can order these supplies in my online store at stampinbj.com. And as always, thanks for stopping by. And remember to create and feel great.